in this part we shall discuss about the derivative of a function if x and y both are parametric function that means x is a function of t y is also function of t so how to find dy dx in this case so that's why we rename this topic as find the derivative from parametric equation so let x equals to function of t and y equals to function of another function of t okay so now we have to determine dy dx okay first of all so what is our goal our goal is that we have to determine we have to determine dy dx তাহলে কি আমি বললাম যে যেটা হচ্ছে আমরা এই পর্বে যেটা আলোচনা করব যেটা হচ্ছে ডেরিভেটিভ বা ডিওয়াই ডি এক্স বার করবো যেখানে এক্স একটা আলাদা ফাংশন অফ টি অন্য ভেরিয়েবলের ফাংশন ওয়াই একটা টি ভেরিয়েবলের ফাংশন তাহলে সেখান থেকে ডিওয়াই ডি এক্স কি হতে পারে সেটা টি হতে পারে বা থিটা হতে পারে বা অন্য যা কিছু হতে পারে যা দিস ইজ কল দ্য প্যারামেট্রিক টাইপ অফ ইকুয়েশন তো আমাদের গোল আমাদের লক্ষ্য হচ্ছে ডিওয়াই ডি এক্স বার করা তো অফকোর্স since x equals to ft function of t so if we differentiate with respect to t dx dt okay dx dt equals to ddt of ft so we write down differentiate with respect to t both side so that gives dx dt equals to f dash t according to the definition of the derivative and similarly y equals to some function of t that is gt and dy dt equals to ddt of gt and that is g dash t so now dy dx equals to dy dt dt dx okay so clearly you can write down here dy dt by dx dt and if we put the value of dy dt that is g dash t and dx dt that is f dash t তার মানে কি এক্স যে ফাংশনটা দেওয়া আছে ওয়াই যে ফাংশনটা দেওয়া আছে সেই প্যারামিটারের রেসপেক্টে ডেরিভেটিভ করে জাস্ট ভাগ করে দেব ওয়াই যে ফাংশনটা সেটা ডেরিভেটিভ করব যে প্যারামিটারে আছে এক্স এর যে ফাংশনটা আছে সেটাকে ওই প্যারামিটারের রেসপেক্টে ডেরিভেটিভ করব ডিফারেনশিয়েট করব করে ডিওয়াই ডি এক্স কিউ করবো ডিওয়াই ডিটি বাই ডি এক্স ডিটি জাস্ট ডিভাইড করবো তো বেসিক্যালি এই ফর্মুলাটার মধ্যে এখানে কিছু থিওরেম বলে আলাদা কিছু নেই জাস্ট ওয়েটা জেনারেল ফর্ম দেখালাম বাট আমরা যে প্রবলেম গুলো আছে সেই প্রবলেম গুলো সলভ করলে আরো বেশি ক্লিয়ার হবে তো প্রবলেম নম্বর ওয়ান আমি কিছু এক্সাম্পল তুলে ধরেছি সেই প্রবলেম গুলো আমরা আস্তে আস্তে সলভ করব তাহলে এই প্যারামেট্রিক ফর্মে কিভাবে ডেলিভেটিভ বার করতে হয় সেটা আরো বেশি ক্লিয়ার হবে তোমাদের কাছে তো নেক্সট আমরা যে পার্টটা দেখব যে প্রবলেম নম্বর ওয়ান ফাইন ডিওয়াই ডি এক্স ইফ এক্স ইকলস টু এ কস থিটা এখানে প্যারামিটারটা কি থিটা and y equals to a sin theta so basically i am differentiate korbo d dx d theta in uh, with respect to theta d d theta of a cos theta of course pashe likhe debo differentiate with respect to theta both side okay so dx d theta equals to since a is constant d d theta of cos theta that is minus sin theta so we get dx d theta equals to minus a sin theta similarly if we do differentiate both side with respect to theta dy d theta equals to d d theta of a sin theta now differentiate with respect to theta 
both side so that gives dy d theta equals to a into d d theta of sin theta and sin theta derivative amra er age porbo ei alochona korechi that is cos theta so dy d theta equals to a cos theta okay now dy dx equals to simply in the previous fashion we can easily say dy d theta by dx d theta so dy d theta equal to a cos theta and dx d is actually minus a sin theta that gives minus a cancelled cot theta so therefore dy dx equals to cot theta अथवा हमरा माइनस कोट थीटा जो दिके वो मने करे जो थीटा एलिमिनेट करे लिखते चाहे ताहो ना हमरा इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए आंसर टाव लिखते पारी माइनस कोट थीटा अथवा माइनस ए कोस थीटा समान की एक्स ए साइन थीटा इक्वल्स टू वाई तब ये टाव बोशी लिखते पारी माइनस एक्स वाई जेटा हमारे पहुँचने दावे जेटा Okay, so problem number one has been solved. Next, problem number two. Problem number two. X equals to A cosine T plus T sine T. And y equals to a into sine t minus t cosine t. So now we have to determine here dy dx. dy dx. Okay. So now differentiate with respect to t both side dx dt equals to d dt of a into cosine t plus t sin t just we have to write down here differentiate with respect to t both side so now we differentiate it dx dt a is the constant part d dt of cosine t plus d dt of t into sin t so that gives a that is minus sin t plus t into d dt of sin t plus sin t into d dt of t okay so we use the formula u into v clear d dx of u into v u into dv dx plus v into du dx so d dt of u into v u into dv dt plus v into du dt just so that I apply it so dx dt equals to a minus sin t plus sin t derivative cos t t equals sin t or t a respect to t derivative equal to 1 that is sin t so sin t sin t cancelled, we will get dx dt minus sin t plus sin t cancelled. So dx dt equals to a into t cosine t. Okay, this is my dx dt. Similarly, dy dt equals to d dt of a sin t minus t cosine t next dy dt a is the constant d dt of sin t minus d dt of t cosine t so dy dt 
equals to a ddt of sin t that is cosine t minus t into ddt of cosine t plus cosine t ddt of t second bracket close of course you can derivate it you can link the differentiate with respect to t both side you can space nahi bole amra likhni kintu tumra likhe nebe differentiate ekhane ei jayga ta just ei portion ta differentiate with respect to t both side so that gives dy dt equals to a cosine t okay cosine t minus t cos and derivative minus sin minus minus plus plus t sin t minus cos t okay so dy dt gives cos cos cancel a into t sin t so now dy dt equals to this now dy dx equals to dy dt by dx dt if we put that is a t sin t by a t cos t so that gives tan t so the question is that we have to find out the value of dy dx at x equals to 3 pi by 4 so now dy dx equals to sorry at t equals to not x t equals to 3 pi by 4 so dy dx at t equals to 3 pi by 4 we can easily put tan t tan 3 pi by 4 and what is the value of tan 3 pi by 4 just we put down tan pi minus pi by 4 that is 3 pi by 4 And this lies in second quadrant, and in second quadrant tan is negative, so we get minus tan pi by four. So therefore, dy dx at t equals to three pi by four, the value is minus one. That is our required answer. Okay, clear. So, our problem number two already solved. Pure fell. I am going to come back with the next. भैलू हमें बार करते पर तो प्रब्लेम नम्बर थ्री एक ही रकम भाव सल्व करते सल्व प्रब्लेम नम्बर थ्री आई थिंक यू हैव अलरेडी कफिट नेक्स्ट प्रब्लेम नम्बर थ्री Problem number three: If x equals to a cos cube theta and y equals to b sin cube theta, so our goal is that we have to find out dy dx. Now differentiate with respect to theta dx d theta equals to d d theta of a cos cube theta. So differentiate with respect to theta both side. So now dx d theta d theta equals to a into d d theta d theta cos theta the whole cube. I'm not saying cos cube theta equals to cos theta. So first of all, power rule will use kuro. So cos three into This equals to three into a into cos theta whole to the power three minus one d d theta d theta cos theta. So three a cos square theta and cos theta derivative minus sine theta. So d x d theta. Equals to minus three a sine theta cos square theta. Right. Similarly, differentiate with respect to theta both side. 
for this equation dy d theta equals to d d theta b sin q theta okay so dy d theta equals to b into d d theta sin theta whole q and similar fashion 3b sin theta 3 minus 1 d d theta sin theta so dy d theta equals to 3b sin square theta and cosine theta cos theta really. so therefore dy dx equals to dy d theta by dx d theta so now put dy d theta this is the value 3b sin square theta into cosine theta by minus 3a sin theta cos square theta so dy dx equals to 3 3 cancel sin sin cancel by sin by cos minus b by a tan theta that is our required answer dy dx equals to minus b by a tan theta clear okay question number three has been solved next question number four i think you have already copied question number three clear next question number four So if four, question number four is that x equals to a into theta minus sine theta and y equals to a into one minus cos theta. So now we have to find out the value of dy dx at x equals to pi by two. So first dx d theta equals to d d theta a into theta minus sin theta so differentiate with respect to theta both sides so dx d theta equals to a is the constant part d d theta theta minus d d theta sin theta so that gives a that is 1 minus cosine theta that's dx by d theta and now again differentiating with respect to theta in the second equation dy d theta equals to d d theta into a into 1 minus cosine theta so a is the constant part d d theta 1 constant minus d d theta cosine theta so that is 0 minus of minus sine theta so that that gives dy d theta equals to a sine theta so now dy dx equals to dy by d theta by dx by d theta. So if I put dy d theta that is a sin theta and dx is a into 1 minus cos theta. So that gives a cancel. We can write down sin theta. That is sub multiple angle we put cos theta by 2, 1 minus cos theta, 2 sin square theta by 2, and sin sin cancel. We get cot theta by 2, cos by sin. Okay. 
So at the point dy dx at the point x equals to pi by 4 x equals to pi by 2 or pi by 4 just you can directly put also here theta equals to pi by 2 okay don't be okay x equals to we get cot pi by 4 so that's value is 1 okay I'm like you theta equal to pi by 2 was at the bottom one okay so, parametric type is equation, there is a lot of problems, there is a lot of unbounded problems, there is a infinite number of problems. Because if you have a problem, you can solve it. 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 Okay? Thank you.